Welcome back, LHS. I'm Elena, and today is Thursday, May 5th, and this is your Blue Devil News. If any upcoming seniors are interested in being in Blue Devil Bank next school year, please go pick up an application from Mrs. Davis at the bank during lunch. For the next two weeks, Student Council will be hosting Money Wars and collecting change for the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Students are being asked to drop change in their class jug located outside of the bank during lunch. The class that raises the most money will get to leave two minutes early for the following week. Please tell your students to bring in their change through Friday, May 6th and help us meet our goal of $500. Back in March, our culinary team won first place at the annual state Pro Star competition held by Tennessee Hospital Hospitality Association. Now, our Blue Devil chefs are headed to Washington, D.C. this weekend to compete in the National Pro Star Invitational presented by the National Restaurants Association. Students must impress judges from the leading industry corporations, colleges, and universities with skills they've developed in Culinary 1 through Culinary 4. Class elections will take place during lunch on May 10th. The Wilson County Election Commission will be bringing in and the voting machines and stickers again. Make sure to be on the lookout for campaign speeches from your future class officers. Student Council's annual end of the year banquet will be Tuesday, May 10th from 5.30 to 7.30. We will be announcing the winning class officers at that time. We will be right back after these segments. What's up BDN? I'm here with Ms. Also today and she's going to tell us about her digital design class. Thank you Evan, who's actually in my digital design class. So. In my digital design class, we have been working on our own avatars. So an avatar is like a cartoon character of yourself. And the kids had some practice first and they got to do their avatar of an older gentleman first. And they got to work on that and they did an avatar of their favorite pet. 24 hours later. And then they get to work on the avatar of themselves. So it's a fun project. They all like to do this. So we're gonna look at some of the samples from some of the kids. All right, so this is Haley, and Haley's in my digital design class. She did a very good job on her avatar. So Evan is going to ask her some questions about what all she did. All right, Miss Haley, mm -hmm. I like the glasses glare on Thank you. your pictures. It's like, just give me a run through how you did that. So um, I had this picture behind that, and then I cleared out everything else, so I couldn't see it, and I just saw like my picture in the like glasses frame, mm -hmm. and I just drew out. Um, my inside of the glasses and it just became like white and then I had I just put transparency on there and it became clear so it looks okay, like glasses okay. so there's a lot of detail on like your jacket you got mm -hmm. your necklace your shirt what like what tool did you use to get all that detail in there I used the pen tool and it was honestly like really hard with the jacket because of all of the like little lines everywhere but I did forget the little pocket down there <laughs> it's okay so about how long did it take you to make this? Like how long did it take to make this? Around a day and a half. A day and a half, just quick with it. All right, so this is Nick. Nick is a senior here, and Nick did a fantastic job on his avatar. So Evan's gonna ask him some questions about that. There you go, Nick. Thank you. So with like your beard and the mustache and stuff like that, what tool did you use like for that, to get all that detail? That was probably the most difficult bit. Um, I use the brush tool. There are, uh, see these, the, yeah. there, there's different types of lines you mm -hmm. can use. So I just did the one that looked most like the scraggly mess that's on my face. Uh, and it got a pretty good effect for the beard. That's good, that's good. So with all the shading, because I can tell you the shading on your mm -hmm. nose, a little bit on your eye, uh, eyelids. So just tell me how, like, how that happened. How, what did you use for that? What tool? pencil tool just outlined the areas around uh, my body that had a, a bit of shading on it uh, went in after added the made the color black mm -hmm. and then changed the opacity to about 50 40 percent mm, okay so is this one of your favorite projects we've done this year yes it definitely is. and what makes it your favorite just how good the final result came out really yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yours is really good, but 
I think mine's better. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! You know, because I gotta be biased. Uh huh. But yeah, that's it. Thank you. No problem. All right, so now we're with Evan, and Evan's gonna talk about doing his avatar. The best one. Evan did do a good job on his avatar. I'm not gonna say it was the best one. <laughs> He did do a great job on his avatar. So, Evan, tell us what all you used and how you did it. <sighs> so, with my avatar, basically how I got all this fabulous detail was that my eyebrows, I used a little brush tool we have. I used it, like different strokes on it, give it like a different, uh, give it different texture. As you can, if you can see, I don't really know, but my mustache was a little um, lighter than my eyebrows because, you know, it's like that in my real photo. Um, I used the pen tool for my hair because I think it was a little easier to use than, you know, using like the pencil tool or like uh, the brush tool. It just gives you an easier way to like, outline it and then fill it. Uh, How many days did you work on yours? Mine took me about a day. A, a day? Yeah. I think it was more about three days. No, but we'll no. Just go with she's a day. lying. It's a day. Um, she's lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Was this one of your most favorite ones you've done in this class, or was there something else you liked better than doing your avatar? I would say this one is my favorite, just because, you know, I got to draw myself. We're going to ignore that voice crack. And I got to draw myself, and I honestly didn't know how it was going to turn out at first, but it turned out really good, so I was proud of it. Yeah, as you should be. Yes, because mine's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> GSA will be holding our annual Tie-Dye Pride Festival after school on Tuesday, May 17th. The event will be held in Miss Peterson's room, A102, from 3.15 to 5. All members of the LGBTQ plus community and their allies are welcome to bring something white to tie-dye at the event. White shirts and tote bags will also be on sale for you to tie-dye. They will be first come, first serve, and supplies are limited. We hope to see you there. Any junior member of the NHS that would like to be an officer next year, please come to Ms. Carella or Mrs. Burr's room for an application. National Honor Society seniors can pick up graduation cords in between classes in Ms. Carella's room, B315. If you did not pay your dues, you may not get your cords until all seniors have picked them up. The Spring Dance Showcase is May 10th at 6.30 p.m. and tickets are $5 at the door. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Elena Todd and this has been the news to you from the White and Blue.